Hey guys, what's up? Yo Kurama here. Today I'm here to bring you guys a little bit of a different kind of first impressions video. What I usually do is I do a week one first impressions of every anime that has aired, but since it's like three or four weeks into the season, it's a little bit late to do that. Now I'm sorry that if some of you were looking forward to that, but due to some certain circumstances that I didn't have a computer, that I'm not anywhere near my home living at the moment, it just couldn't be done this time. So for this season, what I'll be bringing you guys is five must watch anime of the summer 2013 season. Now don't mistake this one for a top five because it's not really a top five video since I'm not going to be talking about which series is better than the other. These are just five in alphabetical order that are a must watch based on the first few episodes that they already have. At the end of the season, I'll still be doing a top five best anime of summer 2013, so look forward to that in a couple months. Now let's begin. The first one is Blood Lad. This is quite a popular one that a lot of people were looking forward to since this is a sanin action demon series and it has some pretty awesome parodies to it. It's a story about pretty much an otaku vampire living in a demon world. He loves Japanese culture so much. He's big game geek, he loves manga, anime, action figures, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, and he's also a boss of a territory and he's super powerful and stuff. And then one day, Human Girl somehow crosses over into the demon world and he gets very interested in her to find out more about humanity and all that kind of stuff. But due to some things happening, she actually ends up dying and becoming a spirit and he makes a promise with her to bring her back to life. And that is kind of where the story kicks off. Now, I'm kind of with the manga and I'm not like the biggest fan of it but I do gotta say that I like the anime more so far and it's actually getting me quite interested and it's definitely making me laugh here and there because there's a lot of references this is an anime that is going to be filled with video game anime manga references so if you're into that kind of stuff then definitely check it out plus there's some pretty good action scenes plus it looks great since it's done by brain base next anime is Gachaman crowds gotcha gotcha Gotcha, gotcha man, gotcha! First off, I want to say that this anime looks beautiful. The animation is great. It's actually by a studio that I'm not too familiar with. It's called Tatsunoko Productions, but I'm telling you, the animation for this one is great. Now, Gacha Man is about a group of people that gain this power, kind of like Power Rangers, where they get a suit and they have to fight these weird pixel looking creatures known as Mess. And by doing so, they're pretty much saving and helping and protecting humanity. And that's so far all I've gathered from this series because it's so confusing but I love it so much. The music is great because it has the whole like gotcha, gotcha man and that's just awesome. And so far the whole mess situation is very confusing as well but I do gotta say that this series has one of the most hyperactive female characters I've ever seen. It's worth checking out the first few episodes just to see her go crazy over every little thing which is just awesome and very entertaining so even though this one is super confusing after the first couple of episodes still definitely check this one out because it has a lot of potential and has a lot of promise it has great action scenes good animation and some pretty interesting characters what else do you need oh a story that's not confusing well who knows we might get some explanations here and there so definitely check out gacha man next one is silver spoon this anime is about farming Yep, it's about farming. And that's pretty much all it's about. A kid ends up going to a farming boarding school. That's it. Oh yeah, and this is actually a series created by Arakawa Sensei, who created this little series on the side that nobody really knows or heard of called, hmm, I forgot, forgotten. Full Metal Alchemist. So it's crazy seeing her going from that, one of the best shonens ever made, to this, a series about farming. But don't get me wrong, that's not bad. This is actually one of the most entertaining series I have seen in a very long time. I read a bunch of the manga and I totally love it and the anime is doing so well adapting a lot of those funny, awesome, educational even scenes. It's just, it's just awesome, hilarious, epic at times. Let me tell you that, there's a lot of epic moments in this 
series as well, so definitely check it out. It's produced by A1 Pictures, so the animation is also very good, and by the way, there's gonna be another season coming out of this, so there's a second season already confirmed for this. So definitely one of my favorite of this season so far, and a must-watch. Next one is Sunday Without God. Now this is a very interesting series. I believe it's set in the future of our world, where God completely ignores and completely gives up on humanity. He pretty much says that my side is full, so people on Earth can't die anymore. Even if they get the brains blown out or like seriously a piece of their head chopped off, they'll still be alive. Or even if they completely just get destroyed, they'll just be immobilized, but they'll not be resting in peace. So he gives him these beings known as gravekeepers that if you're buried by a gravekeeper, you can be put to rest. There's a lot of mystery to this series because something goes down in the first episode that I don't really want to mention because even though it's not really a spoiler since I talk about the first episode. I still want you guys to kind of see it for yourself. And it's been very interesting and entertaining so far with a lot of mystery around what's going on. And plus, this is a pretty interesting concept. I don't think I've ever seen a series with this type of concept. It's also produced by Madhouse Studios and you can pretty much tell that by watching because it has that Madhouse Studio vibe to it, which is awesome because Madhouse Studios hasn't been making like the greatest stuff too often lately. So this is very promising promising from their studio. So definitely give this one a watch. And last one on my list is Watamote. This is pretty much a story about a girl that is right about to enter a high school and she is very socially awkward. She doesn't have much friends in middle school, but she honestly thinks that she's popular. And she thinks that when she enters high school, her life is going to change. She's gonna be very popular. But when she actually does enter high school, she is very disappointed and she doesn't talk to anybody at all and she goes through some of the most awkward situations ever sometimes it's actually a pain to watch this i'm telling you there's some very sad moments to this anime even in the first episode when she has a little conversation with her brother oh my gosh that's that's actually kind of sad it's funny at the same time but it kind of makes you think because this is pretty much a story about a very socially awkward girl that just wants to have some sort of attention she just gets this like little conversation her teacher says, oh, have, have a nice day. And she just like flips out and is all happy that she had a conversation with somebody. So if you're into stories like that, if you kind of want to have a laugh here and there, but then kind of think to yourself that like, damn, this is kind of messed up. <laughs> then check out Watamote because this is definitely a good one. But yeah guys, those are my top 5 must-watch anime of 2013 summer season. Let me know what you guys are watching in the comment section below and let me know what your guys' top 5 must-watches are. For the fall season, I'll be back to doing my regular week 1 first impressions of all the anime that air is just kind of this season. It just it didn't work out, so I'm sorry about that again. So yeah guys, make sure you like this video because it helps out a lot and I very much appreciate it. And also subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoy these type of videos. I'm Yokurama and baby I'm out. Peace.